I got some uh, clips I want to play for you because these are uh, something I came across when I was doing some research on the bill. I wanted to see what would pop up on search. Let me throw these up on the screen here. So this gentleman over here, it's just a three-minute clip. He's basically summarizing um, Bill C-63, audio share tab, yes. Okay, you should be able to hear this. Let me know if the volume is not loud enough. Let me just turn it up a little bit. Here we go. When it comes to free speech, Canada is becoming the Cuba of the North. Canada. There, free speech is under Cuban-like assault. If the government of leftist Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has its way, not only will your right to write and speak what's on your mind be severely restricted, but also the government can jail you if it suspects you might say something that is unlawful. You heard that right, the mere suspicion that you might mouth or write words or phrases that the government deems to be unlawful is grounds to arrest you. Who could have imagined that what George Orwell labeled thought crimes in his classic novel 1984 about nightmarish life in a totalitarian world would be pursued by Canada of all places? Ostensibly, Canada protects free speech in what it calls, quote, the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, end quote, which is part of the Canadian Constitution. In the Charter, quote, freedom of expression, end quote, is indeed guaranteed. But then comes the killer qualifier, as long as it remains, quote, within reasonable limits, end quote. You could drive a convoy of dump trucks through that loophole, and Canada's national and local governments have done just that. Over the years, people expressing politically incorrect observations have suffered serious legal assaults by government. Trudeau's new bill targets so-called hate speech on the Internet. Anyone could file a complaint against someone or a business. The targeted individual could end up getting hit with house arrest, even if he or she hasn't actually committed a speech crime, but a judge decides there is a likelihood that such a person would do so. Who knew Canadian bureaucrats and officials could read people's minds? One provision would make advocating genocide a crime that could be punishable by life imprisonment. One problem in all of this is definition. For propaganda purposes, for example, Hamas and other anti-Israeli parties accuse Israel of committing genocide in Gaza. So under this would-be law, anyone supporting Israel's war to destroy Hamas could be accused of supporting genocide and therefore be subject to long imprisonment. Speech can be hateful and hurtful, but efforts to ban it become weapons of suppression. As the Trudeau regime demonstrates, governments, left to their own devices, will abuse their powers. When, in 2022, Canadian truckers organized protests against government vaccine regulations, Trudeau unsheathed a never-before-used law to suppress the drivers by blocking their bank accounts and seizing their vehicles. Thankfully here, a judge just ruled that Trudeau acted illegally. Okay. I think that's a pretty decent three-minute summary. Now, you probably have seen some of these clips around the interwebs in the past um, because a lot of people rely on mainstream media for their information still. The vast majority of people do, in fact, I would say. Um, they don't think outside of the box. They don't ask why. They don't ask questions. It's stand on your dots, no problem. Wear a face diaper, absolutely. Wear two of them. Even better idea. Okay, no problem. Get these experimental jabs. They're gonna, you know, be good for you. Seventy-five percent of the population did it, right? Um, a lot of the messaging that is uh, fed to people by way of mainstream media is not independent reporting. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you this clip over here right now. Uh, so this is on Instagram. It's a account called Men's Humor which generally is, is funny, but this isn't funny. In fact, it's, it's shocking. And if you haven't seen this before, this is the newest one that I've seen, but check it out. Out of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces. 
But we are concerned about trouble and trying to responsible, one-sided news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same stories without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control the truth. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 We're extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism. Okay. I'll close that window. Um Freedom of expression is being eroded. Freedom of speech, I don't believe, exists anymore. I don't think it's existed for a while. Um, if you offer an opinion or make a statement, again, the, the truth often sounds like hate to those that hate the truth. So if you say something that is counter benefit to a group which is going to participate in the oppression Olympics, you're probably going to have to deal with the consequences. Me actually making this podcast today is potentially problematic for me. I acknowledge that 100%. Um, there's consequences in today's world for saying things that don't align with the narrative that they want you to parrot. The people that you just saw on that screen, you know, the newscasters, they give them words on the screen and all they do is they say them. They don't offer insight. They don't do any research. They don't counter it. They just they nod their head and they read it. Um, even Tucker Carlson, when you know, when we saw him on the Joe Rogan podcast, I watched you know quite a bit of that. Um, he said there, you know, he doesn't have a TV, doesn't use email, doesn't watch the news, none of those things. But he's got some strong opinions that seem to be counter mainstream. So it makes me wonder when he was a newscaster, sitting there reading things off the screen, why? You know, maybe that's why he got fired. I don't. You know, we'll never know all the full details, obviously, but there's clearly an end to that relationship. But it seems like this is this is the next step because they're already controlling the mainstream narrative. The news media, the, the conventional mainstream news media doesn't have independent thought, doesn't have independent opinions. Its script is exactly the same all across all of the platforms. Um, now, there's platforms outside of that which are becoming a lot more influential. X, Rumble, um, Getter. Uh, I don't know. I lose track of all the new ones. But there, there are alternative platforms that are outside of you know the meta group of, of, of companies, uh, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, all that stuff, uh, that are outside of the Google group of companies, um, which can and do censor uh, or restrict information as uh, as regulators, uh, critical bodies of ideas and notion, pass ideas and, and state things. It's a real problem. It's a, it's a significant problem. And people go, well, what's the solution, Rich? And I'll keep telling you guys, the answer to all this stuff is stop voting for big controlling government. Vote for libertarian government that offers you freedom and doesn't want to get that involved in your life. Um, I'm totally fine with, you know, mild tax rates, paying for fire services, police services, basic stuff that, you know, if they operate. Funny thing here is in Canada, we have a huge problem with car theft right now. Um, there's ports that are very close to Toronto, Mon Montreal. Cars are easily stolen. The police don't enforce it. In fact, they went out publicly and said, hey, you know, we know that they're stealing cars from your driveways. Um, you shouldn't put your key fob in a uh, Faraday box, which is an RF uh, blocking box. Basically, it's a line box that prevents the signal from going from the fob to the car because what they do is they intercept that and then they basically get in the car and they drive it away right away. They're saying if they ever come to the door, just hand it over to them. Keep your fobs at the front door. Don't keep them in a Faraday box. Just hand it over to the uh, criminals so that uh, there's no... like This is the effort of policing that we get for our nearly 50% or more tax rate, depending on what bracket you're in, in Canada. Um, 
So it's really, really interesting that, you know, they continue to take away more of your freedoms, more of your rights, and pass more bills every single year, imposing more and more rules. We never get less rules every year. There's no government that I'm aware of in any time of history that has taken away rules, that have said, hey, that's a stupid rule, let's just take that away, or let's modify it or loosen it. It's, it's always every year they introduce new shit. Um, and a lot of the times, especially here, the shit that they introduce is so broadly worded. They don't, they're, they're utterly careless in providing any thought. It's like, let's, you know, what these uh, bureaucrats do when they write this legislation is like, we have to pass some shit to control people, okay? And they sit around, they go, okay, so how do we, how do we pass this to control people? And they're like, well, just broadly word shit. And by the way, let's, let's tie it into a, a global bill that also specifically deals with something that's really important to the public that we shouldn't have a hard time passing, like protecting children. Sounds like a good idea. So we'll include seven key elements that need to be in the bill, and the top two or three uh, will predominantly deal with protecting children, which is important to everybody. Nobody's going to vote against that. But un under all of that, there's going to be some language which is going to give a, a new government regulator, which doesn't exist yet, that we haven't defined terms for uh, or limitations or boundaries. They can just, at their own discretion, say, this is bad, so there's going to be consequences for that. And by the way, even if you haven't done the bad thing that we're calling bad, that really isn't bad, if you think about doing something bad or if somebody thinks that you're going to do something that is potentially bad, this new agency will have the authority to uh, investigate you, restrict your movement, check on your fluids. I don't know what that's about. Um, because they anticipate you doing something bad. It's like pre-crime. Uh, I'm pretty sure Orwell wrote about that in uh, 1984. Minority Report. Yeah, I don't know. You get the idea, right? So, guys, <laughs> Canada is not a free speech country. Even though, as our uh, seasoned gentleman friend there was talking about it in the Charter of Rights, um, you know, there's there's always carve outs, you know, within limitations. You have the freedom of speech within limitations, right? It's like, okay, well, what are within limitations? It's like totally open to interpretation. It's, you know, it's the same thing that um, uh, lawyers do when they write contracts. Uh, they'll, they'll just shove words in there that aren't very clearly defined, but can be enforced later on because it's open to interpretation, right? Um, because you can't get, or you generally can't, you know what this lawyer found anyway, you generally can't get the government off your back uh, to have the freedom, you know, to back off. Uh, the, they're always written in such a way that it's extremely difficult to enjoy those freedoms that you purportedly should be enjoying for paying your taxes and doing the right thing. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.